so can you please tell us your name and your the years you attended SU? Uh, my name is Fred Dudley and I was here in, at Susquehanna from 1963 to 1967. And what did you bring today to the harvest? I brought a, a photo of three of us, myself included, uh, Barry Gehring and Bill Surplus, and we were a raft team. At that time, there, there was an annual raft race that um, went, we went in at the, the river down by the power station and came down to, I guess, right out here. And, uh, you know, they, it was a big deal. There were probably 30 rafts that entered. Um, you weren't allowed to use nails or screws to put the raft together. It had to be rope or, or whatever you could put together. So you had to actually, like, make the raft and then... Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and there were some horrible ones. In fact, the first, <laughs> the first year, this was the picture I brought with our senior year. We entered it the junior year, and the raft fell apart about 200 yards down the river. It never, it, we never made it. Oh, so no. we learned something, and we built a, built a better one. And it was made out of just oil drums and, um, you know, uh, like a cargo platform or something like that. And right. we just wrapped rope around it, and it was fun. We had a blast. That's so much fun. Yeah. Um, so, um, how did you hear about the History Harvest? Uh, just online. Okay. And well, we, I, I'm the one who took the pictures mm -hmm. of the osprey over there. So oh, we've okay. been in touch with Angela, and mm -hmm. you know, been talking to those folks for quite a while. So, what did you study here while you were at, at uh, SU? Business. Business. Yeah. And um, I had a minor in economics. Oh wow, you were busy. Yeah, yeah. Did you? What sort of activities did you do outside of the classroom? I worked. I was a. Uh, poor college kid. <laughs> I had three jobs here. Uh, I was a member of Theta Chi fraternity. Okay. And um, I was a uh, resident hall, um, what do you call it? All right. R yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I worked in the kitchen 20 hours a week. Wow. And I graded papers for three professors. So, so. Wow. Really so, busy. I didn't, so I was in Aikens, I think. Is that the one across from the old? Well, you, you probably don't know Theta Chi anymore. It's the old it's the go house. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, that is West Hall, across from the go house. Is it? Uh, not across the street, just to the at the bottom of their parking lot. Uh, well, anyway, that that dormitory is where I was the okay. resident hall person. Yeah. So I was able to get to the fraternity house. Pretty easily. Easily, yeah. But I didn't live there. Never lived there. So I missed out on, I guess you could say, some social stuff, but got my education. That's what yeah. you're here for, right. so. <laughs> yeah. um, so are there any, like, notable stories about your time at SU that you'd like to share? Um, not really. I mean, I guess this, this was always fun. Every year we used to look forward to this. This is a big deal, you know. And, um, <clears throat> There's a whole group of us that always went to Bloomsburg State Fair from here, you know, and that was fun. Um, you know, being being a pledge in the fraternity was challenging and, and different. And, um, I guess that's it. You know, but it was pretty routine. Yeah. So this river rafting race, um, like, were you able to? make your raft beforehand or like you got there and like you had a certain amount of time no to no, no you had a i mean you could most people built it like it was on saturday the race i think or something so you got there like on thursday and started to put them together and <clears throat> tie them to the bank and then saturday get get on them and hopefully hopefully they float yeah was there a prize for the winner yeah i think so but there was a you know as as like anything else there was uh um some people who had a lot more money and they they brought in some materials that were a lot know, more expensive yeah, and yeah plastics super you know and everything else and of course they won but it was fun that was the main thing is just to have fun that's so, fantastic yeah uh is there anything else that you would like to share no i think that's it i was uh, you know at first i when they first talked about changing the uh, you know from crusaders to the to the river hawk i was somewhat I was one of the ones that was somewhat upset about it you know mm -hmm. um, but then as you know we got into it it's I mean things change and that's the way it is you know it's no big deal and then I had 
all these pictures, it was really a surprise that that was the winner. <laughs> because I had, I, I've been taking pictures of the, these birds forever, and so I, I wrote and offered to, you know, to send some in if they wanted them. And so they said, yeah, send us a couple. Of lessons, let's see what they look like. So I sent them in, and then they said, oh my gosh, those are going to be great. So. Oh, so you had you have taken pictures of actual river hawks? Yeah, the the other side of the. Did you see the the exhibition on the other side of the library? I I have it. Okay, there's 20, <laughs> 20 framed photos. Wow. That are. That and I, they're all yours. Yeah. That's. I'm gonna have to check that out. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. We've been looking forward to it for for a while. So. That's fantastic. Yeah. So like you were upset a little bit at first about the name change, but like moving to the River Hawks. Are you? Well, I mean, it, things change. What, what you know, I'm not going to do much about it anyway. And do, so, are you, yeah. like, confident with the Riverhawk name? Well, I think it was, I, of all the ones that were available that they had on their final list, yeah, for me, that was the best choice. Good. Yeah, yeah. 